How to connect Squarespace domain to Shopify. So to get started, you do want to both open up the general Shopify dashboard as well as the Squarespace domain dashboard. Now, by the way, I currently give out my Shopify course for completely free. So if you do want to streamline your Shopify success, make sure to use the link down below. So to get started, you do actually want to head over to the settings right here on the bottom left on Shopify. Then navigate to domains right here. Now this right here is going to look slightly different on your side because I already added some other domains, but basically for you, only this default myshopify.com domain is going to show up. Either way, the setup is going to be completely the same. Then right here, click on connect existing domain. And now we will have to head back to Squarespace. So to actually add our domain onto uh, Shopify, in this case, I'm going to connect this krauseecom.com domain. And basically, we do have to set up some custom DNS record. And to do so, we will actually have to click on manage domain settings right here, which will then open up the general settings of our domain. And then we will have to click on edit DNS right here on the top right. This is going to redirect us to this page. Now by default, we will actually want to delete all of the different kind of records that we have added. So make sure to just delete this right here. And once we've deleted this, we will then have to add three different custom DNS records. So in this case, we are going to get started with the A record. I will also leave you this in the link down below. So basically as for the host, we will just have to put in an add. Then as for the type, this would be an A. Priority isn't going to be important for this. And then as for the IP address, we basically do simply just want to copy and paste this onto this right here. Then click on save. And now we will basically have to repeat this process with a C name uh, or actually with an AAAA record. Then as for the host, once again, this would be an add. Then let me quickly just copy and paste this IP v6 address. Then we are going to simply just save this. And now we will also have to add a C name record. Okay, now as for the host right here, this will actually be www. And then as for the data, just simply just copy and paste this from the description down below. Uh, however, make sure that you actually also paste in this dot in the end because this is really important. Uh, otherwise, this isn't going to work. Then click on save. And once this is actually saved, we can now head back to our Shopify store. And if we're now going to simply just add our domain onto this, so I'm just going to put in www.krauseecom.com, we can click on next and we can then click on verify connection. This is going to take a couple of seconds. And as you can see, now this successfully got added. If I'm now going to click on this, we would then actually have to change the domain type right here to primary domain so that this is actually going to be displayed in the address bar when people are visiting. So I'm going to change this for the normal krauseecom.com domain as well as for the www.krauseecom.com domain. Now usually it can take a couple of minutes and sometimes even hours until everything is co correctly configured in the back end. However, let me quickly just open this up in a new tab. And as you can see right now, actually this instantly got added and this instantly got successfully connected. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. And as a small bonus, I'm right now giving out my Shopify course for completely free. So make sure to check that out using the link down below.